Hey, Howard Jacobson here. Today I want to show you how to cook black beans in your electric pressure cooker and to cook black beans from dried. The cans are nice. I always have a couple cans in the house just for emergency, but they're expensive. This was like $1.50 for a can with a non-BPA liner and uh, organic. Even the cheap ones are 79 cents, 99 cents, and it doesn't give you that many beans. But this is a 10 pound bag I got from Costco and it keeps for a long time. Had these for a while. The only challenge is opening them. So I'm gonna make a cup. So I'm gonna take my cup measure here and put them in a colander and rinse, rinse them in the sink to get rid of any dirt or whatever that might be on them. That's nice and easy. If you don't have a colander, you can just do it in a pan and just pour out the water like this with your hand or holding a spatula. Now what I got to do is put the beans in the pressure cooker and add water. So I'll show you with the iPhone camera exactly what buttons I'm pushing. But right now we're going to open the lid when we listen to the scales that it makes. So I'm just going to take this and dump it right in. And you can see, here, well, eyeball, here we go. Can you see in there? So it's not even covering the whole thing there. Now we need to add water. So how much water should you add? You can, if you have a pressure cooker, look and see. I like to cover it about an inch and a half, two inches, to make sure that all the beans are cooked. So that looks pretty good right there. Show you. Okay, and that's all there is. If you want to add other flavorings, you can, but I'm going to cook the beans in dishes when I add the flavorings later. So I'm just going to do it plain. So again, listen to the scales. No scales this time. Good, that means it's ready to go. Now is the time when we have to push the buttons. So I like to pressure cook my large beans, so black beans, kidney beans, cannellini, navy beans, for chickpeas for 53 minutes. So what we do is we push pressure cook, and then you'll see the number that appears. If you've never used it before, it'll say 30. That's the default. This says 10. I want 53. I'm going to just push the plus button. And every time I push it, it's going to go up one. Of course, if I just hold it down, it will do it faster and I don't have to listen to all the beeps. And I just continue until I get to 53. And that's all there is to it. I don't want to keep them warm, so I'm going to unpush that button, which means when after 53 minutes of pressure cooking, it just turns off. And at that point, it'll beep three times, and it also beeps three times when it's ready, when it's on. So it gives you a little bit of time. If I had gone to 56 and down to 52, it gives me time to get it exactly right, to push all the buttons. Now it's turned on, the pressure will, will come up, and it'll be pressure cooking for 53 minutes. And at that point, when it's done, it just turns off. I won't be able to open the lid until the pressure releases because there's a little thingy that comes up and it only goes down and allows me to open the lid when the pressure has released. So at that point, I can take the beans out and I can either put them right into a dish or let them cool, put them in a container in the fridge or even a container or a plastic bag, a freezer bag, and have them for later. So what I love to do is have freezer bags with beans. This uh, amount of beans probably costs 10, 15 cents, and it'll give me maybe two or three times what I would get in this can. So I just keep it in freezer bags, and when I need a serving, like one can, I can just pull it right out, and in 15 minutes it's ready to go. Uh, I could pull it out the night before, stick it in the fridge, and it'll be ready, or I can just reheat it. So thanks for watching. Do not fear the electric pressure cooker. It is your friend, especially these days. Have a great day.